Welcome back, my adoring public, for more Trails of Cold Steel. Feral Fiasco here, and uh, pretty much when from la when we last left off, I did a little bit of grinding, and this was the result of it. Molten Rain can now be used. Uh, Rain's burning arrows onto enemies can unbalance. All right. Uh, Usus also grew another level, and we made enough cash to buy Usus new armor. Because seriously. He was just yeah. taking one too many hits. Like, uh, he's dying so often, and none of those are new, so we're out of here pretty much. Now we just need to go to the outpost, which I think was this way? This direction? Uh, let's see. Well, first we're gonna fight this thing. And if there's, if we don't see another, one of those thunder load shoes, yeah, so I'm just good. Oh, nope, there's one. Hold on. First, let's, wow, that's huge. Oh, no, you don't. Stop right there. Molten rain. Wow. Now. Uh -huh. Zero Leave damage, dude. There. Now. Oh, cool. Alisa. Link ending, let's see it. Nice shooting, Elisa. <laughs> Thanks for all the help. Alright, I like that. And you will notice that I ended up skipping it anyways. That's because me and my intense meanness killed the Thunderloach almost immediately. I did it. You didn't do anything, Reen. You haven't done anything for a few episodes now, actually. Okay, and this is another one of, um, this is one of those things that we saw in the, uh, other place. I think this is the mama version. Uh, if it's a fight they yeah. want. Yeah, it's the mama version. This. So we already know all about these things. So you'll notice that these are, well, I just skipped to this, but these are actually not the same thing at all. Analyzing uh, the enemy's vitals. I want to say I definitely shouldn't have jumped to that conclusion. I should have looked at the names first, if nothing else. But these are brutal buffas, and not whatever the things from a uh, Berea hard were. Water and fire, you want to use against them, and it's a buffalo monster that is always on the move across the highlands, mostly docile but fiercely territorial. Leave it to me, okay? And we're gonna finish this one off. Time is precious. We should hurry. Man, this is actually good training for all my uh, party members. I need more brutal buffers to take out. Uh, but first, Elisa's gonna do her infinite uh, EP thing. I don't know, like, I completely don't remember what I gave her to teach her breath, but I'm really glad I did. Makes life so much easier. Oh, oh that's go. wrong. Yeah. And we're still riding towards Zender. Or not Zender, it's the, uh... What the heck are we riding towards? Uh, the Watchtower, right. Which should be this place. Whoa, this is new! Hold the phone! What are you? Let's get this over with. Wow. Right. These things look kind of scary. But we're gonna open with Molten Rain, because this thing, Ostrich, that's it, no Battle Ostrich, no Death Ostrich. Oh no, you don't! Stop Just right regular old Ostrich? Of course Very they well. give us Molten Rain when it's not super useful. Well, not against these things anyways. There we go. Mm, probably EP, so we want to use some arts. Argus, yeah. activate. Okay. And now do your detector thing, detector bot. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Okay. I've got it. Let's see. Earth is gonna be useless. God dang it. Wind is also gonna be useless. Water and fire. Ostrich, a strange bird that races around on non-paved plains. Its breath allows it to petrify its prey. But of course, why not? And oh man, dude! Seeing zero way too often. Man. 
Almost. Can we get no misses? Nope. Yuse is just nearly dead. Oh well. At turn. least they can't gang up on him too badly. Wait, Flamberge is single target, right? Um, there's no way Yusus is gonna survive this next onslaught unless I bless an arrow. <laughs> this thing is about to end. Hey, just don't let it let don't even let him have a turn. Why not? I'm fine with that. All right. Show him what's what, guys. Almost got the kill on everybody. Stone breath. And it didn't stone, so that's turn. good. But she doesn't have a link, which isn't good. Yeah, why not? We can we can basic attack madness the rest of this. Crap, dude. Very well. Nope. It's my turn. I've seen their link two yeah. ends. Here. Man. Leave it to me. Guys, there's no way Gaius isn't gonna finish him off. Yeah. Time is precious. We should hurry. Okay. And we're still making dude, there's no way. Can you imagine walking around on these planes without these horses, yeah. dude? It'd be crazy. I'm pretty much just trying to hustle the Zats now, because the only thing I've done so far in this episode is fight. Uh, and there'll be plenty of time to grind off screen. So let's see what my main man Zats has for us. Plus, that's probably the big buff, the the brutal buffa, the winged snake, the ostrich. That's probably it for the new creatures on the plains. Well, here we are. Let's go meet with the lieutenant general. And this is the watchtower and uh, Zender Gate. So that must be the watchtower then. All right, I will probably speed this up for you guys. It's a noble. That was weird. I'm just sure. getting started. I wasn't able to get the kill on him right there, but whatever. So uh, definitely did a little bit of killing on our way to the watchtower. So guys hit level 25 and wild rage can now be used. Cries out with wild anger trading HP for CP. HP minus 30%, CP plus 50%. Hmm. That would probably pair really well with Resounding Beat, but obviously we can't use that. Yeah! <sighs> oh, wait. I just came from this way. Whoa, whoa. Can't go that way. Hold on. There we go. I think. Dang, dude. The Watchtower, why has it got to be forever away? Okay, let's warp again. Oh, these things. Is this the way to the watchtower? Yeah, just keep heading along this path. Finally, dude. Yeah. The southwestern plains are freaking crazy huge. Oh my gosh. Did it just become daytime suddenly? Huh. So this is the Imperial Army's watchtower. It seems like they've got the bare minimum in terms of facilities and armaments. Still, it does have that imposing look you'd expect from a military base. Though the atmosphere doesn't seem especially tense. The building itself appears relatively new as well. Well, yeah, it was only built around three years ago. Bare minimum or not, it still looks kind of out of place here on the highlands. Anyway, let's get a better look inside find out oh we're still on horseback but yeah no definitely daytime palette huh all right what's up guy can we talk to him over on the horse yeah we can got it there we go sidle up to him a bit in inside of him a bit okay i found this book in one of the boxes i was moving earlier seems a shame to just toss it so why don't you take it was obtained red moon rose chapter six i should probably read those Let's see. Oh, I guess we gotta dismount to go further. Hmm. This is bare minimum? This looks kinda decked out. Private Rowan. Nothing unusual on the Republican front. 
Oh, you must be the students we were told to expect. Hmm. I'm sure there's plenty around here you're curious about, but try to stay out of our way. This has to be Zatz. He's got blue hair. Ugh. Man, I'm bored. Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to be Zatz, would you? The one and only. Hey, you're those students from Thor's who are here on a field study or something, right? So, what can I help you with? Actually, we came here to bring you something from the settlement. Oh, something from Kilt then? Please tell me it is. Looks like he can't wait to get his hands on what we've got. <laughs> he must really be looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Kilt's presents are just about the only thing we have to look forward to out here. Thanks to Banks for bringing it. Hand it over food parcel. Oh, how I've waited for this. Thanks again. Oh, yeah, since you've come all the way out here. How about I show you the view from up top? Might be useful for that field study of yours. Really? That sounds great. Are you sure we're allowed? <laughs> no problem. Besides, Lieutenant General Zex said to do what we could to make your stay a good one. Here, I'll show you the way. <laughs> well, thanks. So is it going to be something we... Wow. Is that the... Is that Calvert? So that's the Republican Army's base. That's the one. Though, as you can tell, it's not exactly a massive outpost. For one thing, the bulk of their forces are made up of tanks, and tanks don't do too hot out here on the Highland terrain. Uh, terrain. That's true. And yet, they built a base up here anyway, just to keep up appearances. It's like a staring match between two stubborn children. It... you sis. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty spot on. Still, lately we've had airships from both armies cruising around here. So, we can't let our guard down too much either. Gaius isn't too happy. Still, if you ask me, the chance of anyone starting a war in a place like this is pretty near zero. Anyway, relax and enjoy the view while you're here. Chances like this don't come along every day, after all. He's not wrong. Thanks for showing us the way. We're grateful for the opportunity. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um, yeah, would you mind giving this to Kilt when you're back to the settlement? Obtained Erebonian wine. What might this be? Oh, just a little something from me for sharing her with things with us. I feel kind of bad if I didn't at least try and give her something in return. <laughs> I understand. Well, we'll be sure to pass it along for you. Thanks. Okay, so this ended up... So this, Gaius doesn't look to be too impressed with this whole military outpost thing. That's... It looks like a Calvert military base. It is. This area kind of acts as a buffer zone between the two countries. Hmm. So this is sort of like a DMZ kind of thing. Hmm. I wonder if we'll go to that. Nah, it's probably got landmines and booby traps out the wazoo. But definitely, we went ahead, uh, we traversed some more of this place, got into a lot of fights, got some level ups. We're definitely going to go ahead and pick things up with the next uh, item on our itinerary during the day, but that'll be next time, so join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel. Let Bye for now, on. guys.